Hi, I'm Dave Winter and I'm your Executive Director here at Capital Land Trust. Our focus is on the key lands, waters, and habitats within the South Puget Sound and Chehalis Basin watersheds. Recognizing that these are the traditional lands and waterways of Salish peoples, we strive to work collaboratively with local tribes as we seek to protect and steward our shared home. Since 1987, we have conserved more than 80 properties covering over 6,300 acres and 16 miles of Puget Sound shorelines. Today, we are here to celebrate local land conservation, recognize our amazing community, and raise essential funds to continue our work. Your gift today enables the ongoing work to expand networks of conserved land in this region. Staff and volunteers have worked really hard to put together this virtual property tour and this video that highlights conserving land and connecting people and brings that to life for all of us. We are so excited to share an inside look at 21 conserved properties while showcasing stories from our community. None of this, the protected shorelines, the thriving wetlands, the public walking trails, the newly planted trees would have been possible without you. Thank you for all you do for local land conservation. Our first stop is Inspiring Kids Preserve on Henderson Inlet. Tom and Priscilla Terry, I'm handing it over to you. Thanks, Dave. My name's Tom Terry, and this is my wife, Priscilla, and we're standing on the Inspiring Kids Preserve, which has about a mile of shoreline on Henderson Inlet. And I've been volunteering with the Land Trust for about 13 years. I serve on the Lands and Finance Committee. And I guess my real passion about working with the Land Trust is really helping out with restoration projects and doing monitoring, scientific monitoring, just to, to make sure that we're getting and meeting our objectives on those restoration projects. And the other thing I enjoy is just getting out on the properties and observing wildlife and all the other things that you can see. We're standing here, we're watching the tide come in in this little inlet. I feel that here in the South Puget Sound region, we really care about what happens to our marine shorelines and our tides and our marshes because of the importance they have to water quality and for marine life. And I think that it's not just that, it's our quality of life as well. And we deeply know that we depend on, on water for just about everything we do, as, as well as it being the cradle of everything that we are. And for this reason, I'm very appreciative that the Capital Land Trust for its entire existence has been protecting and conserving these ecosystems in the South Puget Sound region. I find volunteering to be very rewarding and then it's great to work with people who have similar values. And the best part about it is you really can see the results of what you've done. If you worked on a restoration project, you can come back and you can see the trees or the plants grow. If you visit a, one of our, our public access preserves, you can see now that the, the trails are in order and that the, there aren't any invasive species that are in the way. And I think also even when you're maybe volunteering as a steward, you can see many of our easements and you know that they are protected into per perpetuity. But I think the most important I think like about volunteers is when now when you drive around uh, Puget Sound, you can see areas that uh, the Capital Land Trust has protected and, and that you really know that those, those areas are gonna be there uh, and protected uh, for the next generations to come. Hello, I'm Ralph Monroe and welcome to Triple Creek Farm. This was an industrial bay and frankly, it was a mess. When we came, there were tires everywhere, junk, everybody throwing everything in the bay. And it was pretty sad to see. And it's been a real cooperative effort. And I have nothing but good things to say about the oyster companies who've worked so hard to keep the bay clean, about the land trust who's come here and Capital Land Trust has helped us to preserve some properties, about people around the bay who helped us do the cleanup, the school kids, everybody's been involved. And it's clean today, it's much cleaner than it was and it's working its way towards perfection. Here in the South Sound, we're surrounded by intersecting waterways. The lakes, rivers, and the changing tides of the Sound are constant reminders of why we love living here. I feel that most of us are interested in preserving our marine shorelines, estuaries, marshes, and tidal basins because of their importance to water quality and marine life. 
we understand deeply also that our quality of life depends on it. When you get out on a preserve, it's important to be quiet and to listen and to watch. And watch for the little things because you never know when you're going to run up against one. Priscilla, I think we're going to head over to Oakland Bay and Mason County next. Hi, I'm Jeff Dickerson with the Squawks Island Tribe. I'm the Assistant Director of Natural Resources. And we've been working with Capital Land Trust for decades. We've been working on a strategic project in Oakland Bay for uh, many years. We've had multiple successes out there. Uh, working together, um, the Mullaney Creek property, the Twin Rivers Ranch, uh, Bayshore, and uh, others. You know, it's all been oriented toward protecting the natural resources of Oakland Bay. There are important uh, salmon runs there and a very prodigious uh, shellfish resource. Both of those things, of course, are extremely important to the Squawks and Island tribe. We realized that uh, we each had strengths that uh, the other could benefit from. The tribe was able to provide a lot of the technical resource and uh, Capital Land Trust was able to provide a lot of the direct contact with the uh, landowners. I think we've been pretty successful and hopefully there's uh, more success to come. Hey Tom, as much as I'd like looking at this tide until it comes all the way in, I think our virtual visit is over and let's turn it over to Barb. Thanks Tom and Priscilla. I'm Barb Morrison. I'm a former member of the board of Capital Land Trust and a current member of our Lands Committee. We're out here at the beautiful Darling Creek Preserve full of streams, wetlands and beaver created ponds. These wet habitats provide support for iconic species such as salmon and beavers and improve and regulate water quality and provide connections between upland habitats. Wetlands are amazing habitats. They're biologically diverse. They're incredibly productive. They act as giant filters trapping sediment, pollutants, and improving water quality. They sequester carbon, a lot of it, and important to mitigate the effects of increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. They help maintain stream flows. They mitigate floods. They provide habitat for many endangered species. At our Blooms Preserve, we're in the process this year of building ponds to improve wetland habitats for Oregon spotted frog, one of the federally threatened species. And really, wetlands are just cool. If you like hidden treasures, if you love watching ducks and beavers and exclaiming when a marsh wren buzzes, these are places for you. So I'm a wildlife biologist by training, but I spent most of my career doing cleaning up hazardous waste sites. So when I came to CLT, it was like coming back to my roots. I've always had a strong connection with the land, whether it's the main islands that I spent my summers on as a kid, or the Colorado Rockies where I got to live for several years, or here in the Pacific Northwest, this beautiful spot where I've lived for most of my adult life. When I see people out in nature, enjoying, or at the beach, enjoying being outdoors, especially in stressful times like this, it's really easy to be part of this mission and to be, and, and understand and be reminded about how important it is for people to be able to be out in nature. I have the privilege of having time in retirement to choose what activities I want to engage in. I've been involved with the Land Trust in one way or another for 10 or 15 years, really. 
I love how much of CLT's work involves working with partners, how many people I get to meet from all walks of life. But really, I love the concept of conserving land in perpetuity, not with the thought of locking it away forever, but with the thought that wildlands will be there forever, providing habitat and movement corridors for wildlife and provide havens for humans to refuel and refresh. I really have a passion for the public access portion of our mission, making it possible for people in our community to access and experience these precious places. Public entities at the state and federal level can't do it all. Counties and municipalities are typically focused on developing parks. What the local land conservation community does that's so important is to focus in on the local landscapes and habitats, parcel by parcel, owner by owner, to identify and protect land with high conservation values. Local land conservation is only as successful as the relationship between the land trust and the local community. People like you and me are the people that ensure that these landscapes are knit together for the next generations. It's so important for each of us to support our communities in any way we can. Keeping as much of the natural world around us with a focus on not only our own well-being, but the well-being of our future generations is really worthy of your support. Hi, I'm Charlene Nguyen and um, I've got property out here on, on the Steamboat Island area that we conserved in 2007. The biggest reason uh, why we decided to go with Capital Land Trust is because we knew that in time, since we had 550 acres, that in the future someone was going to subdivide or develop. There's, it, it's just the nature of the beast. And um, so we wanted to make sure that that never happened. And we also wanted to make sure the timberland was um, properly managed and not, you know, overcut and over um, uh, used. One of the biggest enjoyments about living out here is the wildlife. And really we have a huge diversity, not only of the birds, but of the actual larger animals like the bear and the cougar and the bobcat and definitely the coyotes. Finding wildlife on our preserves is one of the simple joys of doing this work. We have an amazing array of wildlife. It's really kind of hard to believe what you see throughout the period of a year. All the small animals, of course, the deer and the coyotes and um, those sort of things, and chipmunks and squirrels and everything you can imagine all kinds of birds, winter birds, summer birds, but it's, uh, it's, it's sure fun to watch. Hearing about wildlife encounters makes me want to go for a walk. There's no better person to talk to us about the benefits of walk than Mary Bircham, our outreach and education coordinator, who's at another one of our public access preserves. Thanks, Barb. My name is Mary. I'm the Outreach and Education Coordinator with Capital Land Trust. Access to nature is something very near and dear to my heart, so I'm really excited to show you around today. The amazing scene you're seeing around me is Bayshore Preserve, which is located just a few miles north of Shelton on Highway 3. Bayshore Preserve is one of four preserves we own and manage as public access areas. We have two public access preserves near Olympia and two near Shelton. In addition to supporting wildlife corridors and protecting fragile shorelines, places like this can provide a moment of respite, an invitation to take a deep breath and simply marvel at the beauty of nature. We maintain about five and a half miles of trails, interpretive signs, benches, and wildlife viewing areas for our community to enjoy free of charge. 
Our walking trails take you through so many different landscapes. Landscapes that inspire reflection, learning, friendship, exercise, and so much more. I love walking down a trail to the tune of birdsong or splashing salmon. The natural world has so many gifts to offer and they keep me inspired about the work we do. Beyond clean air, water, and wildlife habitat, our conserved lands are fulfilling an important need in our community. At Capital Land Trust, we believe public access preserves are important because everyone should have access to local landscapes and opportunities to build special memories outside. There is so much we can do to give back to the gifts the natural world offers to us, and we can do it as a community. Gathering together outdoors to plant trees, pull invasive species, improve trails, and monitor conserved lands brings us together and cements our community bond. I'm Marissa, and um, I am a, a mom, and myself and several other parents have um, organized a pod for our, um, for our, our sons. There's eight boys in this pod. And on Mondays, we do volunteer uh, community service. I think that getting out into nature, uh, doing the hiking and the fishing and uh, the volunteer uh, projects that we've been doing outside have really helped them um, to develop a, a closer relationship with each other. And, um, and of course, with the natural world. And it's important to really instill in them at a, at a young age that if we want to keep our the state beautiful and our forest healthy, our ecosystems healthy, then we need to get out there and we need to do our part and recognize this is our land and we are the caretakers of this land. I'm really glad to be out here with the Capital Land Trust and have this opportunity. And I hope that we'll continue to do, um, to do more of this. Stewardship is really important to me because I feel like what I am doing today is bringing back the past and allowing the future to be here. We are, or I should say, we are making a difference. And that's why I'm involved with this. It's like, I feel like I'm really doing something productive for everybody, including myself. My name's Cleve Penix. Cleve is short for Cleveland. And I've been an Olympia resident since 1981. I'm a Capital Land Trust volunteer because I believe so strongly in the mission of what this small nonprofit is doing. If you think Darling Creek Preserve here is wonderful and important in 2021, I want you to think about what it's gonna mean for people in 50 years or 100 years as this area that we live in continues to increase in population. The work that Capital Land Trust is doing for conserved properties and doing the work to make them even better for tomorrow is one of the most valuable things going on in this region. And I'm proud to be a part of it. Hi, my name is Hattie Osborne. I'm the South Sound Field STEM Coordinator at Pacific Education Institute. I collaborate with um, Capital Land Trust to bring Shelton School District students to Bayshore Preserve and Pilburn Preserve to experience real world science outside. Getting kids involved in conservation in the field is really important to making sure kids are connected to their place and invested in improving our earth. We're really working at building the next generation of, of conservation leaders. With your support, Capital Land Trust is taking a comprehensive approach to conservation that recognizes the full picture. We envision a future for our region in which nature and community thrive because Capital Land Trust and our partners have invested in conservation of and education about our very special natural places. Through our conservation work and against the backdrop of climate change, we help ensure that our quickly growing region is a place with clean water to drink and clean air to breathe, healthy populations of native fish and wildlife, and natural open spaces that help define our communities. Thank you so much for sharing your stories and thank you to all of you for tuning in today for a virtual tour of these beautiful landscapes that we call home. I hope you are as proud to be as part of the Capital Land Trust community as I am. 
Together, we have accomplished so much, from championing local land conservation to providing our community with places to enjoy nature. Wishing you a strong sense of connection and inspiration from this place we all love.